Double manning. Double manning is popular for new drivers, who can be accompanied by more experienced colleagues. In order to qualify for double manning, both drivers must be present for the entire duty. The exception to this is the first hour. During this time, the first driver has the opportunity to prepare the vehicle or collect the co-driver. Calculating daily rest. When involving a second driver, the period for calculating daily rest becomes 30 hours instead of 24. This means that the total duty time cannot exceed 21 hours. Both drivers must commence their daily rest together, which means the vehicle cannot be moving during this period. However, it is possible for one driver to be on a break or period of availability while the other drives. Remember, all the rules for brakes are the same as in a single driver operation. And when double manning, the driver's card must always be inserted into slot 1 of the tachograph unit. When the driver becomes the passenger, it must be placed in slot 2. Example double manning shift. Here, you see an example double manning shift. Driver 1 arrives first and spends one hour on other work preparing the vehicle. To qualify for double manning rules, driver 2 must start no later than one hour after driver 1. Driver 1 completes the first four and a half hours of driving, while driver 2 sets his tachograph to POA and rests. When the taco is set to period of availability, no work should be carried out. This includes navigating. It's now driver 1's turn to rest, with their tachograph set to period of availability. The first 45 minutes will be classed as a break. Driver 2 then completes 4 hours and 30 minutes of driving. Driver 1 starts his second period of driving, which lasts 4 hours and 30 minutes. Driver 2 has his taco on period of availability. Remember, the first 45 minutes of this can be classed as a break. Driver 1 now takes a rest from driving. They place their taco on period of availability for 4 hours and 30 minutes. Driver 2 resumes driving for another 4 hours and 30 minutes. Under EU rules, a person can drive for a maximum of 10 hours between daily rests. As driver 1 has completed two periods totaling 9 hours, it means he can drive for one further hour. During this time, driver 2 will be taking a break, and the tachograph will be set to period of availability. The drivers will then swap, and driver 2 will complete their final hour of driving. As the drivers have now both driven for the maximum of 10 hours, they are now required to take their daily rest, which in this example, is a reduced rest of 9 hours.